Hey, it's Rick with CMYBeach.com. I'm in Sarasota, Florida today at a store called TheWineToBuy.com. And uh, we just met them last week and we've been buying some wine from them. It's a great little store. Very, very knowledgeable, which is what we like to bring to you. So let's go in and check out and meet the owner, Mitchell. Hey Mitchell, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? Good. I was just telling our viewers that we had just kind of discovered your store last week and you're very knowledgeable in what's going on in the wine world. Can you tell us a little bit about where you got your knowledge? Well, you know, it's, uh, it's 30 years basically. I spent the last 30 years of my life, adult life, in the wine business. And uh, I started right out of high school. I worked in a wine shop for like eight years and then I went into the wholesale business for 20 years straight and here I am again. You know, it's a uh, it's experience. It's something you probably couldn't even buy at a university. It's uh, it's good. I I um, thank God that I have this experience, mm -hmm. and uh, it's been helpful. And um, the best part about it is being able to uh, identify wines, identify flavor profiles. You know, when when the customer comes in and I start to get to know them and I know what they like. I can identify that flavor profile and put them right into that wine that they like and they're amazed and, and, and they're thankful and they appreciate that. And it's kind of fun for me too. Mm -hmm. You know, so, um, you know, those, those 20 years that I worked in the uh, wine wholesale business was an education that I really loved because I would spend probably on an average four to five days per week tasting wine at a professional level and you have no idea how helpful that is. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. And um, and here we are. Well, I've watched your interaction with customers, and that's what really impressed me about you. Because you always have, you'll have, you'll, a lot of people will be coming to pick up wine. They already call, talk to you about. You'll have other suggestions, and everyone's saying the last suggestion they got really just they really liked. So you know, it's been really good to hear that. Uh, one thing that that a lot of people want to know about in this business is, you know, you can spend you know twenty dollars on a bottle of wine. There's a lot of wines to choose from in that price, or a ten dollar bottle. Um, people tell me a lot around here that they like a wine called Conundrum. I've never even tried it yet, but yeah, you know, very, I'd like to try it. Very popular wine. Very popular wine. Yeah. So, if someone were going to buy that, is that a wine you would recommend, or is there one that's this in the same price range that's more comparable, better, or in your opinion, or, or uh, well, would you say with that one? Conundrum is a conundrum. I mean, it really is. A, it really is. <laughs> that's right. It's a good bottle of wine, right? And I highly recommend it. But if you really wanted to have some fun, I've got, in fact, for instance, here I got this wine here, uh, Il Campo. It's made from a winery called Giornata. It's down in the Central Coast. I mean, it's so unique. It's a uh, it's a blend of Tokai Fuiano, Moscato Bianco, and Chardonnay from the James Berry Vineyard. It's got the flavor profile that a conundrum drinker would like, but it's much more complex. It's 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 just really intriguing, and they'll love it. So you can experiment, and you're at the same price range. Mm -hmm. That's so, what people so, like. So yeah, that's exactly what we want to do. We want to experience, you know, mm -hmm. and and this is a great little experience. Yeah, well, hopefully some of our viewers will check that out. I might get a bottle before I go. You know how that is. That's okay. Why don't you show me around the rest of the store? Sure. Another thing that uh, is interesting about the wine business today, I mean, there's there's good news and there's bad news. I mean, the good news is there's just so much wine out there and very affordable wine, you know, better than every, any other time that I can remember in my history. But the bad news is, and not that it's really, really bad news, it's just that there's a lot of mediocre wine out there. So, you know, we need to stay away from the mediocre wine. And the way I do that is, for instance, you know, on a, on a daily basis in here, if a vendor or supplier comes in here and we may taste 5, 10, 12 wines, it gives me an opportunity to identify the winners, the losers, and certainly pick out the home runs. And that's what we're looking for. And here we're looking for home runs as many as we can get our hands on. Mm -hmm. And that's a good thing, because there are home runs out there and they're very affordable and, and that's what we need. Mm -hmm. You kind of go according to the philosophy we have with SeeMyBeach.com, and that is that there's a lot of wine stores to choose from. Oh, sure. So instead of just bringing you all the wine stores, why don't we just find the best wine stores? Oh. So we do the same thing. So we feel if we you know, fill up the site with great people, mm -hmm. you fill up your store with great wines, you know, it gives people a great selection. Sure, why not just go right to the heart of it? That's right, plenty to choose from. Yes, absolutely. Well, you have a cute little store here. I've enjoyed checking it out. Is there anything else you want to show me? Well, I have a little room back here I'd like to show you. Um, sometimes, you know, people are looking for hard-to-get wines, uh, specialties, very allocated wines, and we have them here. As Got a it. matter of fact, just last week, I cracked open a bottle of this Dolly Bell Maya 2006. Let me tell you something. This is one of the best bottled wines I've ever had in my entire life. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. 
In fact, uh, it don't get a whole lot better. <laughs> we may have to break one of those out here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. I didn't even realize you had this little room. This is nice yeah, back here. It's fun. Yeah. We also store wine for customers too. Uh, generally, in the um, in the off season, a lot of customers that live out of state uh, will call me, email me, and I'll store wine for them until they get down here. Keep uh, it nice and cool for them. That's awesome. That's very. And good. that's free. We don't charge for that. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. very good. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to make a couple more pans around the store and check things out, and I guess I'll meet you back up front. Oh, great. I'm going to check out your room a little more while I'm in here, okay? Appreciate it. All right, buddy. Thanks. Well, Rick, I want to thank you for coming by and giving me this opportunity. It was, uh, it was a pleasure, and I hope I um, conveyed to you what we're about here. I mean, we work hard at trying to get the best possible wines we can at the, at the best you know prices we can too and uh, as you can see that the, the, the proof is here you've met the customers you mm -hmm. see how they work out absolutely so um, I appreciate the opportunity well we're thrilled to have you on our site and to be part of what we do and you certainly live up to the expectations we have you know because like you said I have heard how you interact with your customers and that's absolutely important to us and uh, so anyway I'm gonna get out of here and you have a great day and I'm gonna grab a couple bottles of wine for myself for yeah. research purposes. And, and say thanks care. to seemybeach.com. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate it, my friend. Take care. All right. Bye-bye.